If you want to see exactly how I did this, then continue to watch this video. Hello everybody, it's Benedict. Thank you for joining my channel. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so that you get updated with all the new videos. And if you are already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate your time. Let's get into today's creation. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I embellish this acrylic ball painting with water drops. I had done this painting in a previous video and I've balloon smashed some of the parts, but I want the water drops to magnify that balloon smashes. And it's a great way to embellish your flip cup paws. So to do this project, you're going to need a dark color and a light color acrylic paint. I'm using black and pearl white. It's important to use light and dark because you need the dark in order to show the light. So we always work with two shades. Then I'm going to use two brushes. I use this brush because it helps with blending as well as applying the paint, specifically in the areas where you need it. I'm also first going to start by preparing my circles for where I want the water drops to be and I can't draw a circle so I use these tools these are just bottle caps that I it helps me to to get a straight line and this is a gel pen so I'm just edging out where I want my circles to be so that gives me an indication of where I want my circle and I've also got a smaller one this is a cap from one of my squeeze bottles and it gives me a perfect size small size circle which I'm going to draw here now you don't have to worry about these markings on the painting the dark color the black paint that I will be using will cover that so let me show you how it's done. I'm going to be working on this bubble here. Now you want to first also determine where your light source is coming from. And my light source is coming from that side. So my shadow is going to lie the side. Your, your shadow will always lie beneath or on the opposite side beneath your circle. The light source is coming from this side your shadow will be opposite the light source so if my light source is coming from this side then this half of my circle will be the dark shade this inner half will be my light shade and my shadow will be underneath my light shade so I've prepared my paint you see it's just a tiny tiny bit of paint and some water to help with the blending and I've got another saucer with my light my light shade of paint and that's all I'll be using so we start, let's start off with the darker shade. And remember, you're going to apply it. My light source is here, so my top half is going to be the dark shade. And I'm just following that circle that I drew. And then I'm going to be 
blending it. Alright, so you want to blend it in. Don't worry if it looks a little bit dark at this stage. It will immerse into that painting. And so you almost want to do it as a, as a half moon. Blending it as you're moving down and creating smaller half moons into the center. So we blend it right into the painting like this. And just leaving a thin line visible on the edges. While I've got the dark paint on my brush, I'm going to put in the shadow side. And the shadow is not a full half circle. It's just a tiny hint of the dark shade, but it's on the underneath, the underside of your circle that you've drawn. So that's my shadow. All done. I'm going to now switch to my light color. This is my light color. I've got two separate brushes. Don't mix your brushes. One brush for the light color, one brush for the dark shade. And you fill in the bottom inside of your circle with your light shade. Bottom inside. You blend it into the dark. The white needs to be a little bit more dominant on the bottom. So make sure that you apply it liberally. You blend it almost into the dark shade so that you actually can't tell where the light meets the dark and you continue to blend I'm going to go back to my dark shade now and I'm going to diffuse it a little bit more I think it's a little bit too too prominent you just blend, use a little tiny bit of water and you keep blending. I'm going to go back to my, just want to do this, I'm going to go back to my light shade again. Remember, this is your shadow. I'm going to go back to my light shade now. And I'm going to make a definite white color shade right at the bottom. Now. So I want that to stand out a little bit more. Can you see that? Bring that a little bit up. And now I'm going to put in my, remember the light is coming from here, so you need to put in your highlight. And then a hint of highlight in your shadow. Just a hint of highlight in your shadow. Let me just make that a little bit more 
prominent on the inside. Can you see that bubble? You can also use a Q-tip, one earbud, and I'm using a wet wipe and I'm just blending, just wiping off some of the excess color, but also blending that color into my painting and cleaning up my insides and the edges. So it's meticulous work when you're doing water drops, but it's a lot of fun to see the end result when you actually begin to see that drop forming. Can you see that? There's our water drop that we've just completed. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> All right, let me do another one for you. I'm going to do a small one. Let me do a small one. Can you see that? I don't think you can see that. Let me do a small one over here. I think you can see that one. So I'm first going to start with marking off my circle. And I'm using my little bottle cap to do that. So my circle I'm marking with a gel pen. And it's just faint. You don't have to press hard. Now I'm going to start with my black color. I'm going to start with a dark shade once again. My light source is coming from the top. So my dark shade has to be at the top. Just a half circle. And you shade it. Just like that. Pull it down. Just shade it. So I'm blending it now into my painting with a little tiny drop of water. You see? I can't do a circle. And that's why I need the bottle top. So, all right. That part is done. Now I'm going to put in. All right. So I need to remember light source that side. You start with the top half and below your line, below your circle, you're going to put in your shadow color. Not a half, full half, just a tiny little bit below, uh, on the outside of your circle. Just like that. Now I'm going to switch to my light source, my light color. And you shade the bottom half on the inside of your circle. The inside of your circle. And half moons, crescent shapes right to the center. And then you need to blend it. With the, with the upper half so that you don't you're not able to tell where the light source starts and where the dark begins so this this part is very important you can go over and over with your colors until you feel you've got the right amount of paint that is going to give you your water drop effect and all that you do is you just keep on with your crescent shapes. On the inside of the circle, the bottom is your light color. And the dark is at the top on the inside. I'm going to blend the top a little bit some more so you continue this way blending and blending this is so relaxing actually
I'm busy with the shadow side. Just giving it a little bit more definition. All right. I want to wipe the inside of the circle. Because I think there's a little bit too much dark. And so you tweak your, your water drops. There's only a few rules you need to remember with water drops. Where your light source is coming from, that's your dark half. Opposite that, below your circle, is your shadow. And inside the circle is your light source. You can blend. Blend it a little bit more. I invite you to try these water drops. They're such fun to do. And all you're going to need is two colors. I just want to make my white shade a little bit more defined on the bottom edge. And I'm going to put in my highlight. And a little highlight below. Can you see that water drop? Let me lift it up for you. Isn't that beautiful? It's so gorgeous. Here is the water drop we just did. I'm going to complete the rest of the painting with the water drops. You will be able to see me complete that, but I'm going to speed up the video and then I'll chat to you on the other side of this.
So here's the final result. These amazing water drops. Is a perfect embellishment on a poor painting and it gives it new life. I thoroughly enjoyed painting these for you today and I hope that you found some value in this video and that you will try it too. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, comment and share. Thank you for watching. Take care everyone. Stay well. Bye for now.